Today's the day we're gonna release Frankie the manatee. Our vet team checked his blood work, uh, checked the x-rays we collected a few weeks ago, gave him a clean bill of health. We're gonna get him one last weight before we release him. So we had to get a pre-weight of all of the straps and the stretcher because that we don't want that to affect his final weight. And then when we get the weight of the manatee with the straps and the stretcher, we'll subtract that 105 pounds. The floor is raised to gently lift Frankie out of the pool. Manatees evolved to live in the water, and since they're so heavy, they can't move around much on land. Now that Frankie is in the stretcher, Craig brings in the forklift with the manatee scale attached. Attach the stretcher and straps to the scale, and Frankie is now ready to be hoisted and weighed. Wow! 865 pounds minus the 105 pounds from the stretcher and straps, Frankie weighs 760 pounds. Even with eight of us, he's still super heavy. And now it's time to take him to the Indian River and let him go free. And that's not a sponge bath. The water simulates when manatees come to the surface for air and stimulates Frankie to take a breath. Watch Manatee Chronicles number one to learn more about that as well as what these measurements and chalk lines are for. Are you guys ready? Yep. yep. One, two, three. We're releasing him here because this area of the Indian River is where manatees congregate. So we hope that Frankie will join up with a group of other manatees for migration. Another great day. This is what it's all about, releasing, uh, releasing animals out of rehab that are looking good, ready to go back to the wild.